Another sunny day here in Wesel and I want to check out those uh, two here again the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and the Vivo X100 Ultra with a special uh, request uh, to check out their dedicated Hasselblad and Zeiss modes and uh, this is what I want to do and uh, I yeah went a little bit uh, over the Rhine, the other side of the river, there's a nice little medieval town called Xanten and I'm checking out their old Roman city. So let's get started. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey through analyzing those photos from Xanten, the medieval town here not so far away from my new hometown or home city of Wesel. Uh, Xanten is um, a very interesting city because it has this old Roman kind of city that I was talking about. But before we go to the old Roman kind of city, let's check out uh, the city itself. When you park, parking is for free, at least in some spots, and this is one of those spots. And what we want to check out is the Vivo X100 Ultra that we have here on the left and the Oppo Find X7 Ultra that we have on the right. And we have the size mode activated on the Vivo X100 Ultra, so size natural colors. And on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, we have the default uh, original, I think it's called, color mode here. And what we can find is that on the Oppo, we have a little bit of brighter green here, we have a bit of more darker shadows and we have in general a bit of a brighter picture. When we zoom in, what we see is that we have a bit of a difference in terms of field of view. Why is that the case? Because the Oppo I set for some reason to be 26 megapixels, so I had the high resolution turned on for some yeah, reason it just took in the high resolution shot. But nevertheless, we, we don't want to analyze this so much because I did already an, analyzation or an analysis of um, the pictures there. So we get a little bit of more information there on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. But uh, yeah, let's just zoom in a little bit there and then we can see what we will get. So what we see here is that we have much more natural looking Vivo X100 Ultra there with the shadows much more um, yeah, less contrast added, less punchy colors there in the greens especially. And uh, sharpening, I think they both apply a bit, but the Oppo Find X7 Ultra a little bit less there in this case because we have like the 26 megapixels. The Oppo has, besides its original mode, which I think I'm using most often here because it's the best, I think, because the Hasselblad branded ones, this is another Hasselblad branded one, you can see it is the the I think this is the first one in the list that you can choose. It's called Radiance, and it's making everything a little bit brighter there, um, more contrasty actually because it's brighter. It's less punchy the color there. You can see for sure, but it's also not very realistic and pleasant to look at. So yeah. Um, I don't did like this so much, I have to say, the Radiance one. At least not for the greens here. For, I think, people it might be a bit better. And this is the one that it's called, that's a bit of nostalgic looking, but this is called Emerald, uh, not Emerald, I think this is, is it Serenity. It's called Serenity, exactly, it's the second one, uh, called Serenity. And you can see that it is lifeless almost, like it's making everything a bit blue, less colorful, and, uh, making it look like a gloomy kind of day. You can see the sky is also grayish there where it's bluish on the Vivo X100 Ultra and I would say it's like more the what the X100 Ultra is showing actually than what the Find X7 Ultra is showing. And you can see it here throughout the pictures that this is uh, again the Emerald, the Emerald, is it called Emerald? Uh, color profile there, uh, Serenity color profile actually, not the Emerald color profile. The Serenity color profile, and you can see it's a bit lifeless there. Just getting the, the, the punchiness out of the color. The yellow color is still punchy here on the X100 Ultra. You can see the blue in the sky where here it's like uh, totally different looking. But what we also notice is that we have overexposure on the Vivo X100 Ultra that we don't have on the X7 Ultra. 
So this is something that we have there. And it's quite interesting that we have better HDR on the Opal Find X7 Ultra, even though it's like giving us uh, the 26 megapixels here, or 25 megapixels. <clears throat> this is um, another photo, and this is the original. Um, and you can see why I like original, because the, the Hasselblad color tone, yeah, it gives like a bit of a mood, but it's not the one that I want to portray here in this photo. So this one is far closer to the one of the Vivo X100 Ultra, as you see. And I prefer the original one because it gives me more, most pleasant colors. I like the colors. Anyway, you saw it with my previous um, comparison between those two, where I was using the vivid colors on the Vivo X100 Ultra, that I like the Oppo Find X7 Ultra colors a bit better there. And so I'm sticking with the original for most of the shots there. There's another shot here with the zoom lens, just to see the differences between those. So you can see much more natural colors on the Vivo X100 Ultra. It's much more contrasty again, much more sharpened up on the Find X7 Ultra. This is 3.7 versus three times zoom. And uh, yeah, the Vivo X100 Ultra, like stated and like shown in my uh, camera ranking is or has the superior telezoom lens. Clearly, you can see it with the amount of detail there. Even in daylight, it is clear that there's a bit of sharpening going on in the Find X7 Ultra to make everything look a little bit better. Then they have this little touristy kind of um, yeah, tour guide wagons or little cars that will guide you uh, through the little city there. We are eating at a restaurant. You can see the sushi here on the left still. I was holding them in parallel uh, next to each other and this is what you get and you see both doing a fine job maybe the Oppo Find X7 Ultra slightly bit of overexposed here in the pavement where it keeps it a bit less exposed on the Vivo X100 Ultra in terms of sharpness however we have like a winner because you can see that it's a bit of like a bit of blurry on the Find X7 Ultra where it's a bit sharper here on the Vivo X100 Ultra. So the Vivo, a little bit sharper there with the text, clearly. But what you can also see is when you take a second look is, in terms of colors, I think the Oppo did a better job. Look at the red there. It's not over punchy like here. It should be size natural, shouldn't it be? But it's, it looks, maybe it is the reconstruction of the text that makes it look a bit more punchy than it actually was. And what you'll also notice is that we have sky and clouds visible on the Oppo and the Vivo for some reason has it overblown. So the size natural colors seems to affect HDR in some way, as you can see here clearly. Like I said, I took those shots at the same time. The other thing is that you see <clears throat> maybe here, down here, much more shadows and much more darker areas on the Vivo, where the Oppo brightens it up a little bit more there. So it's lifting the shadows a bit, also an indicator for HDR. And you can also see the shadow here, much darker, here a bit lifted up. Let's take a look at the food that I took here. And the Vivo has a food photog photography mode. First of all, this is the normal kind of shot. Looks pretty nice already. I think the more contrast here on the Vivo X100 is uh, helping a bit. In terms of colors, I think it's great. Nice and sharp, nice and detailed, as you can see here. The Oppo, you can see it's not so sharp because the focus point was somewhere else. And there you can see a little bit of burn spot on the on the fries. And you can see how many the, the, the salt that they add there. Uh, quite interesting. And then there's a food mode on the Vivo X100. Look at the Vivo X100 Ultra and compare it to the Find X7 Ultra. What's your first impression? It got a bit brighter. It got a bit more to leaning towards the Oppo Find X7 Ultra in this regard but it kept its uh, higher contrast there, but the brightness went up a little bit. So you can see that the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, I think does a good compromise there. And um, it doesn't need a dedicated food mode because by default it's detecting apparently food. What we also see is that um, overall here, but also here, we have a bit more punchy colors on the Vivo X100 Ultra for sure. So I think the food mode is, you can see this is a bit more greenish looking there. 
but he's a bit more yeah, yellowish, but maybe not too punchy looking on the Oppo. The Vivo is adding a lot of punch into the color if you go to food mode, dedicated food mode. Next one, ultra wide angle, ultra wide angle. What can we see apart from a bit more bluish hue on the Vivo X100 Ultra? I think it's a bluish greenish kind of. We have a bit of more warmish yellowish kind of maybe magenta kind of Find X7 Ultra. Both 14 millimeter, more contrast for sure on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Look at the flag here, much more blue, also added punchy colors. But here it's a bit of like desaturated almost because in reality the flag didn't look so desaturated. Of course it doesn't look so saturated as on the Oppo, but uh, yeah, this is what it makes out of it. And you can see also here in the background the punchiness of colors here is a different one as well and which one is more realistic in your eyes i think i'm leaning towards the vivo being a bit more realistic because those houses are standing there for ages already and yeah the paint job wasn't done just yesterday so of course yes the paint will not look as crispy and and, and punchy as on the oppo find x7 ultra what we also see is a bit of more noise creeping in already on the vivo x100 ultra which lifts the shadows a tiny bit more than the find x7 ultra in terms of sharpness and details, however, I think I just still prefer the uh, Oppo a little bit more. Though the shadows are a little bit like distracting. You can see here detail level looks a bit better on the Vivo X100 uh, Ultra because of the lifted shadows there. Um, hard to tell which one do you like or prefer more. Let's take a look at the telezoom lens. We can see a white balance difference, much cooler colors on the X100 Ultra with 3.7x and on the Oppo with uh, 3x we have a bit warmer color tone. In terms of detail level and so on, I think there's not much of a difference there. I think even maybe slightly bit more uh, contrast added to the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and sharpening maybe. And the difference in field of view is because 3.7x 3 3 on the Vivo. Uh, you can also see that the sharpening algorithm is a bit algor um, aggressive on the Find X7 Ultra. You can see that here, especially in the window where there's like this uh, kind of fence in front of the window, which is much more subtle, a bit blurry looking, a bit more less processed looking on the Vivo. The Find X7 Ultra looks a bit more processed looking, looks a bit more over sharpened there. Let's take a look at this shot here, also 3 versus 3.7 versus 3x. Again, much more punchy colors. I was taking those, this shot just to show you the greens and the punchiness and the colors there and uh, detail level and so on is quite similar, though I think more natural, uh, definitely the, the Oppo, where, uh, the, the Vivo, uh, where the Oppo uh, fails with uh, the natural look. This is quite interesting because here the Oppo shows something that someone I think on the internet also was trying to demonstrate a lot. As soon as the face is in there, it is trying to lift everything up and making everything a little bit warm there. And here detected, both detected actually a face and the Oppo did exactly this. Brighten up the shadow, make it yeah brighter, make it warmer looking than it actually was, where the Vivo keeps it more real. And when you take a look at the sharpness, we see another phenomenon on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra because it is yeah, apparently thinking that there's a face and it's softening the image a bit. So you can see how much clearer, how much sharper it looks like on the Vivo, where the Oppo um, yeah, looks a bit processed. This is because yeah, we have like the not size natural colors on the Oppo and apparently also some AI algorithms that as soon as a face is detected, smooth everything a little bit out there. And this is why you see more details for sure on the Vivo. Now let's take a look at this here and from the beginning I was a bit shocked that the Oppo is doing so badly because you can clearly see it's over process. It's not only more contrast added, it's a bit warmer for sure again, but also it looks heavily processed and heavily sharpened. Why is that the case? Because I was cropping in to 3.7 times from 3x and here I'm using the defa default 3.7x zoom rate. And um, yeah, this is what you get. And you can see how much more natural the Vivo looks like and how much more processed the Oppo looks like. So it's a clear win here for the Vivo for sure. And the Oppo already has a little bit of noise going on. But if you didn't have the Vivo shot, then the Oppo is not too bad. But if you have to compare, then it's clear win for the Vivo here. 
Um, and yeah, the colors are also wrong on, on, on the OPPO. And then 10 times it's even worse for the, um, is it actually 10 times? Um, actually, it's a bit more, I think. <coughs> Sorry, it's uh, 13 times zoom actually, which is like you double uh, tap the uh, 6x button on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra to so get out of it and it looks so much more processed, so much more contrast added, a bit too bright and artificial looking where yes it's a bit of softer on the X100 Ultra but the Vivo looks just simply miles better like a real camera where the Oppo is looking heavily processed there and I checked again yes it is really using the 6x zoom lens so yes it's a clear win here for the vivo and then here also a clear win i think for the vivo with the main camera sensor quite interesting even though you see that with size natural colors the vivo has worse hdr look at the sky being overexposed there where the oppo keeps it more real there again a bit more bluish kind of hue slightly on the vivo but the oppo has some issues with noise already creeping in look at the uh, windmills wing there Look at all the color noise on the Oppo. What's going on there? You see those bluish kind of spots and I'm not sure what's going on there. What? But the Vivo looks very clean. Maybe a bit too clean. Maybe it cleaned up there artificially, but it looks way better there. Here's also a bit of noise already on the Oppo. So I'm not sure what the Oppo was doing there. It doesn't look very pleasant, I have to say. And then we come to our Roman uh, city that we can see there these are the walls and the entrance to the roman city uh, taken with the ultra wide angle the ultra wide angle shows i think a little bit of a brighter view on the oppo it's a bit darker duller looking on the vivo when we zoom in however what we see is like both heavily processed and hard to tell which one is the winner here i'll be completely honest they both <laughs> don't look too good there in this situation the only thing that I think the Oppo got right is the discoloration of the greens, which is much more pronounced there. And yes, it is a bit of the punchiness that they added, but this is exactly how the greens or the uh, green grass looked like, where the Vivo makes it look like almost yeah identical there, not much of a difference there. And in terms of sharpness and detail level, I don't see much of a difference between them, to be completely honest. There's, I think, another shot here with the ultra wide angle, yes. And you can see again this lifted uh, shadows on the Oppo where the Vivo keeps it more real there. But the Vivo is also doing a little bit more in terms of like, uh, you can see it here in the background with the clouds, which look more dramatic than it actually was. A uh, bit more bluish hue. And I think a bit more contrast added where the Oppo has a bit of overexposure eventually. And uh, yeah, is um lifting up the shadows here because this is the main subject that i want to photograph this is the model of the roman city that we entered and of course not all of those buildings are still there so some of them are recreated and uh, they just dug up some something from the ground and uh, recreated this here with this model so you can see at this and you can see the whole uh, area it's quite large and we didn't manage to visit all of them but it's quite interesting how they reconstructed everything. And uh, let's take a look at another shot here, which is again, uh, this is, let's go back here. This is just how uh, a 3D view of how it looked like. You can see that this village, this Roman village had like a wall all around it. There was a main gate and on the other side, there was another gate there. You can see that there was like some kind of water conduct or something that they used to to bring water in i don't know what what they how they did this but they had very sophisticated some um, minor entrances there as well or smaller entrances there you can see how they constructed everything there and how the buildings looked like very impressive that they did this and reconstructed everything there uh, ultra wide angle again here i think we can see the oppo doing a better job why is it doing a better job because it's not lifting up the shadows so, so much as it did before 
It's bringing a bit more contrast in, capturing the mood, especially of the sand when we were in this uh, fighting arena. Uh, Colosseum, I think it's called. Much better, but also the details here where the Vivo is lifting up the shadows, you can see noise and processing, which doesn't look so pleasant. The Oppo doesn't suffer so much from it, but it's hiding this because it's like we are not lifting up the shadows so much, uh, which gives it a little bit more of the mood and vibe that you saw within the uh, Colosseum here. And especially here in this shot, which is now taken with the main camera sensor, you can my daughter running around there through the um, catacombs of the, so the, the, the surroundings where they held the prisoners that were fighting, uh, the fighters and uh, even animals that they were fighting. So these are the corridors here. And uh, the mood is much better captured with the Oppo, as you can see with the shadows and the light like climbing in. You can see the, the, the difference between the, yeah, the shadow and the, 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 the shadow of the la light there. And for some reason, the Vivo is doing a poor job there in getting the right mood in here. It's lifting up a little bit too more. And yeah, I was like just one step further. You can see this window here is now here on the left. So I took the photo first with the Oppo, then with the Vivo. But it shouldn't affect this shot so much. As you can see, it's much, much brightened up everything there. Where here it keeps it a little bit darker also there in the background, which I like a bit more. So the mood is better captured with the Find X7 Ultra for sure. And as well here, um, I think the background I like better on the Vivo X100 Ultra, like a little bit more lifted up shadow so you can see a little bit more. It's like the right amount that they lift up there uh, in the back because here it's just dark and dull and you don't even see that there are like stairs or, or different kind of rows, which is, yeah, you can just assume. Um, but the good thing is that the Oppo keeps the sand more real. Here it's just lifted everything up. All the shadows are lifted up. So the, the sand doesn't, it's not the same vibe that you got when you were there in this uh, Colosseum. And um, yeah, the, it's a bit sharpened up on the Oppo for sure. But there's more contrast added there. Helps to make that, you can see this is one of the largest points here of this um, picture of this photo makes it stand out a bit more and it's looking a bit dull on the Vivo. Uh, the sky is again I think a bit too greenish maybe on the Oppo and a bit too bluish maybe also greenish it's a bit more warmish kind of this is a bit of colder um, uh, looks weird on both I have, to, I have to say both are doing a poor job there with this one this one is quite interesting because here I was a bit shocked. I was double checking the Vivo if I accidentally switched to vivid mode or another mode, but no, I was in size natural mode, but the Oppo looks much more natural. Uh, first of all, everything is yellow for some reason here. That's the ground. Usually the Oppo is like the one is warming everything up, but here the Vivo is doing it. And then I think it's like also raising the shadows there again where here the Oppo doesn't and so you get a bit more contrasty look and the other thing is like, again it is like 25 because I'm sorry detail level yes it's better on the Oppo for sure if you photograph in the 25 megapixel uh, pixel mode um, just a mistake that an honest mistake <laughs> that I did there not to make the Oppo look better there but um, I think the Vivo in terms of colors also is a bit wrong because it tries to lift the shadows you can see here the background as well it makes this a bit more dull looking where the Oppo is doing a bit of a better job and this one for some reason the Oppo I set to 2x and the Vivo to 1x I'm not sure why but just to see the usual behavior uh, to show you the usual behavior also with the sky you can see much more bluish sky much more warmish kind of kind of maybe greenish almost but more yellowish uh, is the main color here that i think would would uh, say the sky looks like here on the oppo so this is a huge difference that you see there otherwise we are almost the same this is quite interesting because i thought the size natural colors should reproduce the colors a bit more natural this is one of the houses that you see there that they recon reconstructed of course and uh, painted as well and uh, they painted it in a more kind of orangey kind of tone but you can see the vivo has a little bit of this yeah, reddish darkish reddish tone 
which the Oppo is also not perfect, but it's getting the colors a bit more right. It's more brighter up at least. And especially here, uh, where it keeps it a bit more darker, it's brightening it up more orangey kind of way. And this is actually more accurate what the Oppo is showing there, which is quite yeah, interesting. You can see that here, there's a little bit of a staircase. Why is that? Because you can see inside of this uh, Roman house, how the people were living there. And uh, the next shot, I think I'm showing you exactly, uh, this was the little bedroom because the big bedroom I couldn't show because so many people were looking into it and didn't have the time to uh, take two phones to take the shot. Uh, what we can see here is also a very interesting shot. As you see, we have a bit more <coughs> contrasty look on the Oppo. It's quite interesting because I think the Oppo is doing a better job here. And let me tell you why. Because I was looking through a window. There was light behind me shining through the window into the room. And I think the Oppo got it right in terms of colors because it, then it is a bit brighter there because the sun is in the background. Where the Vivo tries to get this little slightly overexposure maybe or this slightly whitish kind of look taking it away and making it warmer looking there. It's not bad, but what I saw with my own eyes, I like the Oppo look there a bit better. You, you be the judge, tell me what you like better. When it comes, however, to detail levels, you can see that we have here again the uh, 12 megapixels in this case, because there's not enough light in this room, even though both use a not too high ISO rate, especially the Vivo that is using 700, where the Oppo is doing 1,250, so a lot more. The Vivo looks much better in terms of detail levels. For some reason, much more natural there. It might be the higher contrast that I was like praising earlier. They did it for the for capturing the lights and the shadows a bit better on the v, on the Oppo. But the rest, they also sharpened up and they also added contrast. And this is pronouncing the chair here and its, it's um, pattern there, which is not so right. It is like trying to the little bit of dust particles sharpen it up, which is also not right. The Vivo does a better job there with looking much more natural. Even though I like the bit, bit more contrasty and yeah look there, you can see here also a bit overexposure where the Vivo is uh, not doing this because it's unexposing a little bit there. Uh, not unexposing, it's like keeping the, the, the dynamic range in, 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 in a bit of like a different level. And uh, yeah, overall more natural is definitely the Vivo when it comes to the detail level. Colors, however, and, and it's like, like I said, this, this, uh, this sunshine coming in <laughs> better on the Find X7 Ultra. Here again, another shot, uh, first of all, because I found it very interesting because they had like their own bathing houses. And the interesting thing is that they are really warming up. You can see how it works here on both sides. Uh, clearer, warmer, um, not warmer, clearer and sharper on the Vivo where the Oppo is using the 26 me uh, megapixels, but it's like a little bit blurrier than the Vivo. But when I zoom out, you see it's probably it's basically the same. Here is interesting that you can see how the original color on the Oppo is adding a bit more punch to the blue, where it's less punchy on the Vivo, but it's very, very subtle, I would say, and the reds as well. But you can also see the interesting thing how the Romans were heating up their bathing houses. You can see that have they have like basically air um, channels put in here. So they put a fire down below the bathing house and allowed those air um, channels to, through, to, to go through here down below to, to heat up the water from down below, but also from the sides. Look at the stones here and the sides. They're also getting warm. Quite interesting technology. If you are interested in this, you can also read this. And don't worry, not all of this is like in German only. They also have like English and I think even Dutch uh, translations here somehow. Yeah, there's Dutch translation and there's also the 
English translation and looking at the text here I also fine. The only thing that I see again is the colors. I think Lopo is doing not the right colors, but it's more right than what the Vivo is doing, which is like, this is not how it looked like. <laughs> so yeah, another shot where I wanted to compare the, um, what was it here? Free X versus free X on the Vivo. Vivo doesn't have free X, but we can manually choose free X. And it's quite interesting because I think in terms of colors, they're almost the same when it comes to the uh, sky color is a bit of more duller colors here on the Vivo. Uh, darkness and contrast on the Oppo again higher. Detail levels a bit higher on the Oppo, yes, especially here in the leaves you can see it also in the brickwork there in the background. It's a bit sharpening up on the Oppo for sure, you can see it also in the foreground. But for the digital crop on the main sensor that the Vivo is using there, maybe a bit of computational photography with the 3.7x, it's doing quite a good job, I have to say. Um, quite a good job. And I don't like the, too much contrast added there on the Oppo. And interesting, this is just too red. And look at this, this is better looking, but it's also too red looking. So yeah, very interesting. It's supposed to be the same color as here. Um, it's not the same color as you see. This is like more the Vivo going into the right direction there. And when we go to 3.7x, this is, you can see the dramatic difference between this and this. Is there a dramatic difference? Yes, in terms of quality. Look at this when I go to 100%, how much better the quality looks like. The Vivo X100 Ultra has a very nice tele zoom camera. The Opal Find X7 Ultra at 3.7x is cropping into the 3x. So we have the same kind of uh, yeah, a bit too dark exposure, I would say, or not lifted shadows there, um, which leads to a bit of loss of information there, but also like you can see like the detail uh, differences between the Oppo and the Vivo is quite tremendous there. And it's uh, clear that the Vivo is optical and the Oppo is just a digital zoom. And also in terms of colors, the Oppo is like, yeah, struggling there as well. Selfies, quite interesting. I deemed or I declared the Oppo Find X7 Ultra the winner with selfies and I'm still declaring it there, especially for selfies with the portrait effect. You cannot choose, uh, I think, size natural colors for, this, for the selfie uh, on the Vivo. At least I don't remember seeing that. Let me check again. It's fully charged now. Do I have the option to choose size natural colors? No, I don't have the option to choose size natural colors. However, I can choose a size um, portrait effect. And um, portrait effects on the Vivo still struggling a little bit. You can see it here, especially there. And then here with the ceiling partly put in instead of my hair only. The Oppo doing a much better job. First of all, 32 megapixels there, you get a bit closer for sure. But the portrait effect is yeah, also not 100%. You can see there, but it's better looking than the Vivo. So yes, when it comes to selfies, someone was like declaring selfies like being better, uh, it's for sure the Oppo. Also a nice interesting shot because here I think the Oppo is uh, for the first time also lifting up the shadows again when it's not doing too much contrast and the Vivo looks like it's back to its vivid mode even though we are shooting with size natural. You can see that the blue in the sky is like totally wrong where the Oppo is doing a better job there but it's slightly overexposed here looking. Uh, because it's lifting up the shadows here. It's a bit too warmish looking, but there, this orange is better than this red here on the Vivo. So yeah, a um, bit too cold looking, bit too punchy colors there, and here a bit like overexposed on the Oppo, which one we like there. Another shot indoors now, and I think the more gloomy and more natural kind of look we got on the Vivo X100 Ultra, warmer kind of colors on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra detected faces. However, what I quite find interesting is that the Vivo got his faces yeah, sharp in focus, as you see there. You can also like, see the textures and everything, the hair, so of those statues there, nice and sharp, also nice shadow effect there, where here it's lifted up the shadows a bit more, but it's not in focus because it was focusing on the back of this guy. And here, this guy is a bit out of focus, as you see on the Vivo, where here it's sharp. So, yeah, uh, not sure why they decided to do this. Uh, another photo here, this is, I think, again, with uh, this is uh, with the main camera sensor, but 2x crop. And this is quite interesting. You can see how much darker it looks like, especially the car, uh, sky on the Vivo, where the Oppo looks more realistic, I have to say, because the, I'm not sure why it's like 
it looks fantastic the sky and don't, don't about why it's looking so dark but what the vivo does tremendously better is 2x zoom you can see how much sharper it looks like the vivo x100 pro already did a tremendous job when it comes to digital zooming cropping into the main one inch type sensor it's doing some computational stuff there also maybe with the 3x uh 4.3x zoom there and the 3.7x is probably also used here because look at it's just i cannot explain it otherwise it's so much sharper so much more detailed there looks like more like an optical zoom on the vivo than what the oboe is doing here so yeah a tremendous difference there uh, as well as here also nice and sharp and here you can see it's a bit soft yeah and then the ultra wide angle again and again not much of a difference there you can see a bit of an hdr effect here on the vivo where here are the oppo looks a little bit yeah, less blue again a bit more warmish and uh, in terms of shadows both keep them in in terms of details i think a bit sharpened up on the vivo a bit sharper even than the oppo there uh, towards the side both struggle a little bit there but yeah pretty much the same another shot here of the windmill another windmill but this windmill was not working the other one was working was turning around as you might saw it this one is not and this is again with the uh, 23 millimeters on both and uh, yeah we have the, the 26 megapixels as well you get a bit closer there and see a bit more details maybe let's zoom out one step and what you can see is a bit more lifted shadows on the oppo again and a bit more punchy colors uh, where it's a bit darker there on the uh, view x100 ultra a bit more punchy colors there a bit more natural kind of colors a uh, bit more bluish kind of sky again you know, the same kind of thing that you saw already oppo i switched to the radiance one the hasselblad radiance you can see how much difference it looks like from this to this much warmer looking much different kind of uh, styling uh, like like sun is out this is the radiance kind of theme that we have the hasselblad radiance theme on the oppo and i didn't like to use it always I, it might make some, sometimes a bit of sense if you want this like sunshine kind of feeling there especially on the beach or something if you want to enhance this even more then this makes sense or you we have a gloomy day and you want to make it a sunny day <laughs> somehow this might make sense but yeah this is the the original one makes more sense it's much closer to reality and much closer to the vivo x100 ultra there and then another shot with 2x zoom and this is quite interesting again because yeah i was retesting it because i thought it, maybe the oppo misfocused or something but no 2x zoom is just simply so superior on the vivo it's simply it's no competition at all look at this here this messy looking and look at how much better this looks like there a bit of color noise already and noise and then zoom digital zoom artifacts and so on that we simply don't have on the vivo it's just simply extremely good very very good as you can see here the vivo x100 ultra when it comes to 2x zoom it's beating hands down the oppo uh, in this regard so i'm pretty excited about this one and then just because i thought okay much more natural looking and not so sharpened up look on the vivo <laughs> with its size color mode the oppo has a master mode which is like some call it pro mode but master mode can be also used in fully automatic and then you have different colors you have a little bit of overexposure as you see there's very close to what the size natural mode is bringing and it's not so much sharpening up stuff and spoiler you can do the same thing as on the vivo you can set up vignetting you can set up the amount of sharpening that you want applied and such things which is quite good which makes them basically on par as you see it's basically the same green grass but here it's much more punchy is less punchy so the oppo find x7 ultras master mode might be even better than size mode and this might be yeah one of the next videos that i will do maybe next um, yeah kind of travel and photo shoot out between those two uh, the master mode against the size mode maybe also the pro mode of the vivo x100 ultra to see which one is doing a better job there but this is now coming to an end this comparison by comparing the macro mode and uh, macro mode you see we are using the 3.7x uh, zoom there on the vivo and we're using the 
6x on the OPPO because the OPPO 6x has the macro mode there. And uh, yeah, first the Vivo, I did a mistake, I think. Well, it's like focusing on the front there. OPPO is doing much better there, focusing here, but then you can get a bit closer and you get even better shot there on the Vivo. Look how nice this looks like. And they can then digitally zoom in <laughs> further. So there's no competition when it comes to macro pho pho uh, photos. The Vivo, especially also after the last update, is doing much better there than the OPPO when it comes to this. So what do you think about my results here? I think overall it is clear that the OPPO uh, by default is doing much more processing. Even its original mode is very close to the Zeiss mode. It is still more punchy, still a little bit over sharpened. You can still see the Vivo in daylight especially, but nighttime as well, is better in terms of the zoom range. So 3x, 3.7x, uh, um, even 13x, which some people said, ah, don't do 10x versus 10x, do 13 point something x that the OPPO does when you double tap the 6x button. Uh, the Vivo is still better there. The higher zoom, is favoring the OPPO, but otherwise up, I think up to 10, 10 times or something like this. Uh, the, yeah, maybe even like the higher zooms 20 times, 30 times might favor the OPPO. Otherwise, also when text is involved, but otherwise the Vivo is like, especially also with the last update, catching up tremendously there. And I think superior still with the tele zoom lens, there's no doubt about it. So yeah. Do I change my ranking system now Be just because of those? Actually, I think my ranking system favors the Vivo already with the telezoom lens. With the main camera sensor, um, I have to still test the Oppo Master mode there. But yes, I would give 0.1 point more for the Vivo X100 Ultra for the main camera sensor for the size natural colors that um, work a bit better than the original colors on the Oppo. Also with less sharpening applied and such things. Uh, but my final result will probably after I test the Oppo's um, master mode there as well, which helps us. With, it's both are very, very good. We clearly know the Vivo X100 Ultra is more for photographers, uh, has a nice point and shoot mode. However, I think the major strength it has is when you dig into the pro mode, if you want to change stuff even you don't want to go to the pro mode but you still want to have the automatic mode but change certain things like the sharpness applied and the, the, the punchiness of the colors applied yeah we works on router's camera app is just like unbeatable there the oppo is um a bit struggling there uh, nevertheless both fantastic cameras here no portrait shots besides maybe my selfie shot here for for this kind of um video here write down in the comment section what do you think about this comparison here and uh, yeah i think the clear winner in this comparison is definitely the vivo with its uh, more natural colors only sometimes the oppo uh, is winning in certain scenarios there with the colors and uh, with hdr i think i i nailed now the differences between those two if you use them in the way that i was using it uh, visiting xanten so if you're interested in Xanten and such things, I will put a link down below to the medieval city. So if you're in Germany, you can maybe visit it. And um, yeah, that's it for this uh, photo comparison between the Vivo X100 Ultra and the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. If you're interested in one of those devices, Trading Gen has a good uh, has a good price for them. Has a voucher code that I can give you uh, if you want to purchase the either of them which uh, is definitely a good choice especially because you get a very good price for importing one of them and you have to import them sadly because they're not available on the global markets as far as i'm aware so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching write down in the comments what you think about this comparison and until the next time bye